Hello and welcome back, Double O Debbie, and this is episode 24 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. Today we're back here. Oh, I meant to do a little bit more moving off camera. Get these chests cleared up. Because uh, I did a little bit of. Speaking with my uh, my little mining spell down here, did a little bit of straightening up. Got some more storage going on down here. I figured uh, this could be for our stone, uh, mass stone storage, and you know just general uh, mining items can go here right there so it'd be a good place to empty all our pockets uh to have it like just accessible right here and i would like to also start maybe getting into some industrial craft i know it's not industrial craft anymore but it's industrial contraptions <laughs> okay industrial contraptions we could like dig out a little room here and make a little starting room for industrial contraptions uh but that's not what i wanted to do today there are a few things that i've been thinking about uh like I want to get, we have Batania going, and there are a couple of uh, magic items that would make our life a lot easier, or at least a little bit easier. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to get those, and I also want to upgrade the mind spell, because after having this hammer, I'm kind of spoiled, and I want that 3x3 three three area. <laughs> so... That's what another thing I would like to do is to upgrade the mind spell with an AOE and see how that goes. Because, uh, I don't know, uh, it sounds fun. Also, I put chicken coop on our, oh wait, I already had that up there. Okay, so we don't need this one. Let me take you away. All right. So... We had I I have done mining, but just not getting a whole lot of iron. I don't know if I need to dig at a different Y level. Like the chances of getting iron are really low down at bedrock. I don't know if that's the case. Uh, because this is my first um, one eighteen modded <laughs> Minecraft thing, and I know that. Um, I was talking with my my daughter about it, and uh, she says that they don't want you to be able to get everything all the way down at Bedrock. That they want you to have to go to different levels to mine for different things. So if that's the case, then, then that's fine. I'll just make another mine, but I'm just not getting a lot of iron. Out, out of that uh then my pick broke so i made like an osmium pickaxe because i don't have a lot of iron uh so um what we can do is i want to i want to go try this little spell out after we get the aoe because i don't think it's going to take any iron or a lot of resources to get this done uh, but you have to have a fire charge and you make a fire charge by taking gunpowder and a die oh no that's a fire yeah that's what i need fireworks star uh so oh yeah i moved it move the little guy out here oh no, it's already, no, come back, <laughs> come back to me, no, oh my goodness, uh, yeah, don't, 
fill that thing with stuff you don't want on there. So we put the fireworks star in and then uh, I think you have to make it uh, AOE. That's what I want. Select. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, we gotta go sleep. I don't know where that little guy is at. I know there's this place is riddled with. Oh man, I keep doing that. What did I break? Last time I broke a block over here. Uh, anyway, oh, I got to sleep. Boop. I also would like to put a nice little garden area right out here uh, that I can just gaze upon from up here. Uh, well, this looks nice. It would be, I don't know, it would be nicer. So there we go. Uh, also, last time I made the glyph, and I probably didn't need to do that because that's how you learn your. Um, uh, uh oh, I'm, so I'm like mining. Um, after last episode, I looked in the book uh, and, and realized what I was doing wrong with the book to try to get it uh, to get the spells. So you just have to have the book in your hotbar, in your hand, and you push C, and it brings up this menu where you can adjust your spell, you can name it, uh, you can have up to 10 spells at once in your spell book. Uh, and I think the different levels of the spell book will allow for more complicated spells. Like this is just the tier one spell book, so we only get form and effect. And I believe there are three different aspects. Uh, like there's one more area that will, it's basically will affect the effects. Um, so you can change how they act. I'm not 100% certain on this because I only have tier one and I haven't played this. So, so also there does not mean, seem to be a level. So you don't have to go around casting your spells over and over uh, for no reason just to level up so you can get to the next level of spells. So the number in the the upper left corner of the mana bar is the number associated with the spell in the spell book. So you can push uh, V, it opens up your little uh, radial menu here. <clears throat> and you can see our mine is on spell slot number one. So that's why the one is there. So that, that was good to get that clarified. So now we have our glyph of AOE. We have our spell book and we know how to use it. Uh, I believe we just right click this to learn it. Yay! So now, uh, hopefully, we should be able to I think, go into here. Oh no! <laughs> It's too powerful for your current spell book. Oh, that's such a bum deal. So, because I can't get the next spell book until I go to the nether, I believe. If we um, do ours, oops, and we look at our spell books, where are they? Oh, there they are. So the mages, the novice spell book is the number one. The mages, I think is the number two. Yeah, this one looks a little bit more ornate. And then this one is the creative one. 
So there are three, there are technically four, but this one, you know, we can't, there's no recipe for it. We don't really have access to that. The only way to get it is to cheat it in or to be in creative. Um, so that's not going to happen. So this is how you can make the tier two spell book, which is the mage's spell book. We need obsidian, um, which we do have diamonds now. I don't have a diamond pick, uh, but we can get obsidian and we have the diamonds. The only thing we need is blocks of quartz and blaze rods. And I'm not sure if there's like a way you can get these uh, without going to the nether. Boy, that would be nice. Uh, I really don't like, I don't like the nether at all, especially since they, they changed it. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's a way to, to make these things. Um, like, can you break that? Because I don't even think you could break the blocks of quartz down, like if you were to find it. An ocean block, <laughs> when you found quartz in like a dungeon chest, you could take it back to your Tinker Smeltery, smelt it into liquid, and then pour it into the gem cast to get the nether quartz. But I haven't really seen any chest with nether quartz in it, so... Oh, you could take an earth charge and a block of quartz and break it down. That's at least somewhat useful. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're looking at. In order to get the AOE, we have to create the spell book. Hooray! Um, so I guess we'll kind of table that for now. We need to go put guess a new sign on our board <laughs> for here to indicate our need to go to the nether it's not going to be nice so. okay let's put uh nether okay uh Get quartz, quartz, and get blaze rods. That's generally a, a pro, you know, normal progression is to go to the nether and get quartz and get blaze rods. Might as well get glowstone while you're there. So, uh, since we can't do that right off the bat another thing that would help us in the nether is to have a magnet and a belt that makes us run faster uh, so let's look at that. what all is that i know it's going to take a little bit of iron to get the ring of magnetization so let's do it's been a few months since i played with botania uh so Oof. I don't, I think it's like some iron, and or ring of the mantle, there we go, ring of magnetization, uh, I think if I just do that, yes, push A and then it adds it to the list, there's also a Belt. Aha. Sojourner's Sash. I believe that's the very lowest tier one. Then there's the Globe Trotter and the Plane Strider. Uh, the Tectonic Belt is something different. Uh, awesome. So, what are we looking at over here? I don't think there's any. I don't think. Oh, we might need to get a little bit of mana for the Sojourner's Sash. I know the Ring of Magnetization normally doesn't consume mana, but uh, I think the belt might. So we might actually need to get 
like a band of mana or a mana tablet. It would be preferable to do the band of mana. That way we don't have to carry around um, a tablet in our inventory. It'll be on our uh, little bobble section over here for rings and belts and charms and such. Uh, so let's look. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and add that to the list. That might be, uh, that's going to be a lot of iron. So we need four man of steel there and four man of steel there. So that's eight. Oh, and another one. We runes for the belt. Uh, don't we don't need runes for the rings though? Uh, completely forgot about that. Oh, does the rune of earth? Okay, I thought that required that you go to the nether to get that. I was wondering if that was going to be blocked as well. So we need like eight, eight mana. I'm pretty sure that I have eight iron over here. Hopefully I have a little bit more than that. So then I'll have a little bit extra. Oh no. Yeah. That's no good. That's no good. And I'm not even sure that I have enough mana to make eight, eight mana steel. I have a little bit over there. I guess we'll see. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, mana steel. Making the mana steel. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough, but we'll try. Oh, it was. We still got stuff left, too. Uh, oh, I think there might be. Ah. Uh, what is that? Yeah, uh, one iron, one gold, and a man. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I could make the ring of magnus magnetization but not the band of mana but that's okay because if i can't make sojourner's sash right away i'd rather just have the ring of magnetization because it doesn't require the band of mana anyway uh so let's just go ahead and make our uh ring of magnetization oh i'm gonna need a gold and our last iron. Knickerdoodles. Last iron and a gold. Yeah, I'm feeling better about my storage situation. Uh, I can, I have a lot more room for storage over there for blocks and stuff. So, it would be nice. I do need a bit of glass. Glass for that. So we just go boop, boop, and boop, and then a boop, and then a boop. Oh, sweet. Oh, the inner arts. Um, I believe there's actually a way um, you can turn this off and on. I think. No? Did that? Oh, that actually went to the slot. Oh, that is super cool. I think if you're, you're holding it and you shift and sneak, it doesn't work, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, so we may need to grab a little bit of, uh, I've made charcoal to put in these guys. I may want to get a little bit more going for a Batania setup in order to get these other things going um, when we need it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And this is why you don't want the magnet. I wonder if, uh, let's try it out. Can I get close while I'm sneaking? Oh, I can't, I can't click on that while I'm sneaking, but it looks like the sneaking, uh, oh, oh no. Okay, what? Stop it. Ugh. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this, okay. Um, I don't think those will despawn. I don't think there's enough for them to despawn before those little guys eat them up, eat them up. Okay, so... Uh, we're kind of at an impasse. We got a ring of magnetization. Um, I guess in order to help, we don't have iron to <laughs> to go there. Oh, uh, so, but I would definitely like another piece of armor before we go, but I'm tempted to make a suit of mage armor. I want to be a mage. <laughs> I want to be a wizard. Um, that would, I, I believe, give us more mana, or more mana regen. Uh, after, you know, holding a spell book, we have only so much mana. I wonder like how do you figure out how much mana you have? Oops. That's for things I don't know. How do you know how much mana you have? There's no way to uh to see that number or anything, so I don't know. So let's look at the mage armor. Maybe it's something that might be doable. We have novice boots. Uh, that sounds to it doesn't have a lot of armor. Five, four, uh, two, and one. Golden boots. Okay. So I don't know the helmet has the same amount of armor it's just the iron the chest plate has one less and i'm maybe the iron leggings have i don't know oh uh, but i think i want to make this it's just the mage bloom fibers uh thing else at all and we've got a little bit of mage bloom here so probably we'd need 24 <laughs> More. Let me get the spell book out of my hand so I don't destroy some blocks or something. Um, so we do pants, hat, boots, and yes. Now, um, when we go to the nether, we might want to put some <laughs> some our, our iron back on. I don't know. So let's, I guess, put this. I would have a chest, but yeah, this one will work. It's empty. 
or I could put it up in my bedroom. I could do that. I'm a wizard. Did I thump and get a night wager? Um, awesome. So we got our mage armor. This is so cool. Um, and once we go to the nether, we should probably be able to upgrade to the mage hood, which looks to be like the equivalent of iron, maybe. Uh, it's got two, six, five, and two. Um, but it takes this blaze fiber, which is mage bloom fiber with blaze powder. Um, so you get blaze powder by crushing up your blaze rods. A macerator. Uh, yeah, we're going to be having these soon. I was really wanting to uh, use my spell book to clear out that room instead of the hammer. Because the spell book doesn't take resources. I mean, it does. It takes mana, but the mana comes back naturally, whereas my bronze and stuff does not. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes. I'm trying to think, what, what do we want to do next? We could make a diamond pick so we could go get some obsidian uh <clears throat> look at that we got eight diamonds definitely got enough for a pick and an enchanting table all i need is to um you know har harvest some more cows so i can get the leather and i don't fight but I have been using it. <laughs> uh, I've been using the leather to make item frames. I used two of them uh, on my little wood shed out here. Um, made a little you know, thing so that I axe and some wood. So, you know, this is the wood chopping station. <laughs> So yeah, let's make the diamond pick and I will try and find some lava. Uh, I know there's a surface lava, uh, but it's quite a bit away, quite a ways away, but we may have to use that if necessary. I wonder if I could have mined with this Osmian pickaxe, I'm not 100% certain what the mining level is on Osmium. I just assumed it was the same as iron um, or around that. Let me get my spell book to here. Actually, we could put the spell book here. I just didn't want to. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and in the episode a few minutes early uh, so I can go and find some obsidian. Uh, yeah, I guess that's not really too super duper far away. What is this? A bat. Yeah, I keep hearing a bat over here somewhere. So, that's so good. Look, I got some free range chickens over here too. That's what I'm going to use to make uh, my chicken coop is probably going to be over here somewhere with the other animals. Yeah, probably. So I, I probably will do the chicken coop off camera. Because it's not very super duper pivotal for anything. It's just for fun and to get some eggs because uh, no there's a recipe 
for the uh, oh, there's thermal recipes thermal uh, they actually added a few recipes for this so they got milk and satter root makes cheese ah oh, we got some satter root uh, and we have cows and a bucket so we could have cheese i made some cheese with the the sushi thing but you know you can't eat that uh, I made it with a bucket of milk in here which got us like four cheese but I can't do anything with this food so it does me no good <laughs> um so we can now have cheese once we get some extra sata root coming in there's a stuff oh wait can you can you eat that you can't eat that but there's a stuffed pumpkin that you also can't eat. It's a carrot cake that you also can't eat. <laughs> a chocolate cake. I wonder if you can actually eat these, but you just nom them like a, another cake. You know what I'm saying? Like you put it on the table or something. Tits food cake and a spice cake. Now I thought I found some other recipes oh here's the spring salad a hearty stew a perspicious per perspicacious stew something like that uh so we have a salad oh it tastes honey and a hearty stew a jar of tomato sauce radish onion barley potato and carrot Mmm, that sounds good, and it sounds like we got all that stuff. Like spinach, uh, barley, and eggplant. I don't know. Did I see? Did I get an eggplant? I'm not sure. Is that all the recipes they've added? Is there any more? Oh, a stuffed pepper. Here we go. A stuffed pepper takes some cheese, rice, pork chop, onion, and bell pepper. Mmm, that sounds good. PB&J. A jar of peanut butter, a jar of jelly, and bread. I, I don't know how, how do you... Okay, you make strawberry jelly. Do we have peanuts? I don't remember getting peanuts. Um, okay. A green bean pie. Oh, that takes eggs and brown mushrooms and wheat. Well, it's at least something we could eat. Oh, and we could turn the cheese into sliced cheese, and then we can eat that as well. Jar of tomato sauce, jar of jelly, peanut butter, a glass jar. So we might need to make glass jars, which is no good. Has match. Oh, look at that. That's like equivalent to iron. What does all that take? Leather and protective fabric and cured rubber. Rubber. Block of cured rubber. It's this, it's a vicious cycle. Uh, you smell the raw rubber. Okay, <laughs> you gotta use the vines. We might need to get a vine farm going. Or you could use a latex bucket. I don't, I don't want to do, do they have a way to get latex in thermal expansion? Oh, you can use any plant. Um, I wonder if you could use, oh, you can only use dandelions. That's no good. Okay, so latex, is that still the same way to get latex? And you have to put it in a multi servo press. Arboreal extraction. Oh, they have those from Thermal Theory. 
you could do jungle log and jungle leaves. So does that mean you have to have a jungle tree? Ooh, I don't have jungle logs. I wonder if it works on any tree or if only works on jungle. Might be only working on jungle. Um, weird. Uh, so we might have to get the rubber using vines. So we have to make a vine farm. Um, so I don't know about that. That's only one, one. Oh, you don't need the rubber on this, but it does take some iron. That could be interesting too. <laughs> the hazmat suit. Ooh, they have it. I don't remember. Oh, these are beekeepers. Uh, jacket and stuff. Oh, they have a satchel. Oh, and you can put it on your. Oh, what is? I wonder how much that. Uh, we could make this. We have leather and wool. Four leather, four wool, and a tin. Certainly have a ten. Another if we could get some additional storage to, to have carrying around with this, I'm all for it. Because our little um uh, backpack is swell and everything, but it's only got like these two rows, um, which helps, but it would be better. Um, and I don't think I'm ready to do uh, what? Oh, it's rock wool. Why rock wool? You have to turn. Oh, that's a bum deal. I thought that was something I could do. Look, they even have a diving suit. Oh, oh that is so good. You get 1.6 times air bubbles for the flippers, 1.3 for the legs, 1.1 for the chest, and 1 times for the diving hat. Um, oh, that's awesome. I will have to try that out. That looks really neat. Um, yeah, there's so much to do in here. I'm kind of bummed out here. Yeah, so that's all right. Um, we'll we'll get things going. Um, it's like a snowball going downhill. Once it gets going, it's just gonna cascade. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's put our stuff up, and we'll go ahead and call the episode here. Um. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.